Stick around to the end where I'm going to show you some real numbers, some actual real numbers, because I think it's important to be transparent about these numbers in this reselling business. <music> Well, hey there, folks, and welcome back to the Works Content on YouTube. We're going to jump right into some thrift store action where I found some amazing deals at a thrift store that I went to last week. And I really love doing these kind of videos because these are the kind of videos that I really love watching myself, watching other resellers going out into the wild, seeing what they find, seeing what they're selling, because it's kind of like a cheat code. It helps flatten out that learning curve. So follow me as I go through this thrift store. Hopefully you find some stuff that's new to you that you can look out for when you're out in the wilds. And if you've been here before, I, I mean to my YouTube channel and not necessarily to a thrift store, but you know we hit up the games and toy section first. I love selling board games. It's my favorite thing to sell. I do find this sale sign for all close. I'll be looking at some close, some foreshadowing there. Uh, this was selling for 20 bucks at the thrift store, which I thought was really high. Uh, it's not good. I'm going to actually lose $4 on Amazon by selling this. So obviously I'm not a dumb dumb. I left that behind. And I love finding these little buckets of hidden treasures. I used to pass these things up for years at thrift stores and garage sales. Never really thought there was much value. However, other YouTubers taught me otherwise. One of them even found his future wife. But you can find things in here for 25 cents, 10 cents, 50 cents, maybe a dollar, and you never know what's going to be in these things. So always worth taking the time, looking it up on the eBay machine. Uh, get familiar with, with figures. You just have to learn this stuff once and then you kind of know what you're looking for. Here's a few examples of things that I find in these little toy buckets that you end up uh, not spending much money on, but you're making a little bit of cash for your oh. pocket. Right above it, I found this shelf full of a lot of retail, brand new stuff. A lot of times local retail stores, when they have overstock, it seems they'll kind of dump some stuff on the local thrift stores. I found this little Disney Animators Littles collection. Sometimes these have money. I put it back because it said 30 bucks, but I figured, you know what? I'm going to ask at the register if they'll make me a deal. And thankfully it did. It's worth about 50 bucks. And they gave me it for half off. So I got this for 15 bucks and I'm going to do pretty well. Now, all this media is right outside that door. Uh, first thing I do is I'm scanning the shelves and looking for anything that's sealed, anything that's brand new sealed. And I look it up on Amazon first. So I'm looking and pulling out anything that, that has a, a brand new factory seal on it. And then I'm also looking for any obscure titles, specifically in the movie section, anything that I've never heard of, I will pull out and look that stuff on eBay as well, especially the obscure titles. For Blu-rays, I found this, uh, Clint Eastwood, and I'm not going to make much. All the DVDs and such were on sale for a dollar, so I'm making about two bucks on that sucker. Any 4K, these black Blu-ray cases, always look these up. They do well on both Amazon and eBay. They're popular. People like to collect those. So I ended up finding this little stack here is what uh, I, I was also purchasing and I did pretty well on some of these, all for a buck and some really beyond bowling basics. That's one really random title worth 30 bucks on Amazon. I found this huge lot of Avon conditioners, aftershaves and such. And they had a lot. They were asking $3 each. But I was looking up some on eBay and noticing that they were selling. Avon seems to be doing well with certain categories and i bought all of them i asked how much if i just clear your shelf they give them to me for a dollar each so it's about 25 bucks for all of them and i'm selling them in lots of two and three for 20 and 30 bucks so it's a pretty good score don't be shy ask people for these bundled deals ask how much if you just buy everything because you can get a fantastic deal and they're happy to clear their shelves or their garage sales or whatever then i'm going to go over the clothes section this is one thing that just it just took time when I was learning, I had to look up brands to see what was worth it. I had to spend a lot of time going on eBay looking for brands. What's worth it? What's not? And that stuff can change over time, even within the same brand. Some cargo shorts can be worth money and their shirts could not, for example. And I find this polo shirt. Polo can be pretty good, but I, unfortunately, this nipple stain, somebody had some major leakage from their nipple on this shirt. So I left that behind. This is a brand new brand to me, Maui and Sons. And anytime I don't know anything, I look it up, Maui and Sons. So cool, it's not going to change my life. But uh, if I find enough of them, I will. And it sells for about 15 bucks online. I think I paid 2 bucks for this shirt. Billabongs, that's another brand that I always look out for. Board shorts with spring and summer coming up. I did look at some shorts. And Billabong can be all over the place. This is size small. Size Sizes do matter. That's what she said. Sizes matter when it comes to clothes. Smaller sizes uh, in particular with men, 
uh, aren't as popular. They don't sell as well as large, extra large, double XL sizes. There's a lot more people shopping online for bigger sizes. Uh, it will sell, just not as much money, and it might take a little slower. Uh, Volcom shorts. Again, it took these these shorts home with me. I found this Yankees jacket, uh, majestic, genuine merchandise, and uh, I couldn't tell. I couldn't find the exact jacket online, but they they're all over the place. Some have a lot of value, hundred eighty five bucks. Some are forty, thirty dollars. I left this behind because they were asking twenty. I probably could have picked it up and sold it for forty or fifty. I'm guessing, but I just wasn't sure. And with twenty bucks, I didn't want to risk the twenty bucks. Now we're going to talk numbers while we drive through the car wash because I was at a thrift store with a dirty truck and boy was I embarrassed. Invested about $76. Obviously these numbers are rounded up to the nearest dollar. Gross sales $647. That includes the item price plus the shipping costs involved in that. So after fees, that's the platform selling fees minus my shipping costs. So that's going to be $313 today. Shipping supplies is going to be about five bucks which leaves net profits around $308. Now I do set aside taxes, 15% of the net profits for the following tax year. That's something uh, I'm obviously no tax professional. I'm not really a professional at anything I do, but uh, 15% I've, is just a generic number that I've noticed it has been working for me over the past few years. And it's more than been enough for, for my tax purposes each year. So I set aside that 15%. And then if we break that down to an hourly pay, the travel time was 20 minutes round trip, 10 minutes one way. Listing, I'm thinking this is going to be about 45 minutes to list all this stuff. To pack and ship it up, uh, it's going to be roughly hour to pack this stuff up and another, say, half hour to, to drive over to the post office and back. So we're talking about a three-hour ordeal for all of this stuff. Hourly pay, that breaks down to that $308 profit. About $103 an hour, or if you want to take that $47 out that I set aside for taxes, it's going to leave about $87 an hour after the taxes, which is pretty great. And I love this uh, for the amount of time and effort and work. This is a good ratio. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you had fun. I sure did. Hope you learned something. I sure did. And we'll see you next time. Like, subscribe if you haven't. If you don't want to, you hate my guts.